Good morning, good morning everybody. For those of you joining in for the first time, um, I'm Karen Kong and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Ottawa and welcome to my This or That Thursday. So every Wednesday or by Wednesday I try to post um, two cards um, and I ask people to vote for which one they want me to make live on Thursdays. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, just give me a second and I'm just going to set up my computer so I can see comments um, as they appear. So if you're joining me in live, I would love it if you could say hi, comment, chat with me. Hi Sandra! I can always count on Sandra. Um, and it's because it's just like way nicer to have friends to chat with and to craft with than just talking to myself. Um, okay, so I'm trying to get the, uh, the live stream set up. Just a second. And even if you're watching on replay, you know, I love to see your comments and to see um, what you think and uh, to know that um, maybe I'm inspiring, to make, uh, inspiring you to make some cards of your own. Just a second. All right. Okay, I've got the live stream up. I can see your comments. Okay. So today I have this card for you. I made two very similar cards, okay? But using two different techniques to achieve the a very similar look. Okay, um, I'm gonna switch my uh, I'm gonna switch my computer. I'm uh, sorry, my my phone over to face my desk so that you can see what I'm talking. Okay, about um, just give me a second. Close your eyes while I move the phone. Okay. All right. Sorry. Good morning, Tanya. Uh, oh, there's the button. Every week it's always something different. You know, sometimes Facebook changes the buttons around. And one week I started my, um, I, I went to start my live and I realized that the, uh, the live button had moved for, from a different, to a different spot. And I was like desperately trying to find it and not knowing how to start my live. So it's always a surprise. Okay, I'm just moving my computer. Phone. I uh, hopefully that's gonna give you a view, good view of my desk. I thought I set it up beforehand. It looked like it was good, but um, okay. So I think that's not too bad. All right. Sorry for the wobbling. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I think that's better. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. All right. So today I'm using the uh, True Beauty set okay let's see so i'm using the true beauty set um to make my uh, cards this morning i've got two different cards oh sorry two of the same cards similar cards but i use different techniques so this one here it uses um, masking and blending so um it's all one dimensional like there's no layers on this this piece but um it looks like what you can achieve with die cutting or fussy cutting, right? You can still achieve, sorry, I'm, I, I just realized I'm a little bit off the screen. Um, yeah, so you can achieve the same look as the die cuts just by fussy cutting them um, and layering them that way. But today I'm going to show you how to mask and blend. Um, and those of you who came to my bingo event, uh, you got a couple pieces of the couple sheets of the um, masking paper. So hopefully this will give you um, a chance to, to see how it works and try it out for yourself. OK, so it's not that hard. All right. So other things I've got handy are my um, blending brushes. I've got three different shades of blue for my blending. OK. Pacific Point, Bermuda Bay, and Coastal Cabana. And the green for the leaves is the Granny Apple Green. And Crushed Curry for the um, the other flowers that are there. I also used an embossing folder and the deckled um, rectangles for uh, my layers. Okay, so I'm going to just put this aside and uh, get started. Let me just tidy this up so I can find everything, hopefully. So tell me how we, how your week has been going. Um, 
hopefully now that things are uh, kind of things are on an even keel with uh, school and like things are getting into routine I can happily say that my poor son who went through three schedule changes in the first week of school um, is is seems to be like on an even schedule but we're still waiting for a chemistry teacher we have the chemistry teacher for him so we're waiting for the school to hire somebody so that's kind of concerning because the longer they wait, the farther he is behind, which kind of sucks. And I don't know how they're going to cram everything in. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, um, let me show you the card we're making. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is cut the card base. I'm going to use the paper trimmer. Okay, it's a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. I'm going to cut it in half at 5.5 inches on the long side. Okay. So if you don't have a trimmer, this is the best one by far because, like I said, I think I've been told many of you before, I've got three other trimmers that are all gathering dust because this one has the measurements here. It's long enough. It holds small pieces of paper really great, like up at the top, um, and it has a scoring blade. So I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Oh yeah, Sandra, so yes, what are they doing in, in chemistry class? Basically, not a whole lot. I think they handed out like a review sheet um, for them to do, but other than that, it's kind of like a spare right now. Like they sit in class and they have a supply teacher who sits there and babysits them, I think. So it's kind of brutal. Um, yeah, okay, so there's, there's my card base, and I will fold it in a second, but I need the other half because I have a layer on here. Um, that I embossed, sorry. Um, so that is the exact size of the front of the card. So I just need to cut this one in half. Um, sorry, I'm just checking because I know one corner is bent, so I don't, I'm not going to use that half. So this one, I just need to cut another four and a quarter inches to cover the front of the card. And then the other side, I will die cut my rectangle layer on top. Hi, Shannon. Good morning. Thanks for joining. Okay, so this needs to be embossed and this one needs to be die cut. So I'm going to take out my um, cut and emboss machine. Okay, let me just make some more room for that. And I'm happy to see that I finally ordered my replacement plates for my my die cutting machine. Because look at this. This is like, like I can't prevent it from warping anymore and it's like so scratched up so I'm happy to say those are gonna be that's gonna be arriving this end of this week hopefully um, okay now where did I put my embossing folder so this is the pretty flowers embossing folder and it's so pretty and like I hate to repeat myself but yeah it is really pretty and I love either the embossed side or the uh, or the debossed side even All right, so I'm just going to stick that in there. And I think I'm just going to check the instructions. For those of you who don't have a machine, it, um, it tells you exactly which layers you need right on the uh, plate, the bottom plate. So for this one, I don't need plate two. So I'm just going to take that out. Oh, Tanya says she's having to get out the fall stuff. Yes, I have to do that. I have to admit now, yeah, people know who follow my, my group that I am not into changing seasons, um, going away from summer, because I love summer, and uh, it kind of sucks that now we have to get out the fall stuff and put away the summer stuff, and yeah, that's on my to-do list. I'm not really rushing to, com to get it out, but hopefully I won't be doing that when the snow starts falling and we have no winter boots out. <laughs> Oh, you had meet the teacher night already. Wow. Yeah, our new, actually the, the kids uh, meet the teacher night is tonight for uh, the elementary school. So um, I'm hoping it won't rain because they have uh, outdoor activities planned afterwards. And uh, it got rained out last year. So for the end of the year activity day. So fingers crossed. Um, okay, so I've embossed that. I need to uh, die cut my deckled rectangle so I've just started 
<laughs> Shannon, I don't know how you do it with four kids, like how you manage to get to see all the teachers. I guess you have to pick and choose. Maybe it's a lottery system at your house. <laughs> all right, so let's cut out my deckled rectangle here. So... I usually like to turn this on an angle so that I don't get that awful snapping sound when you put it through. Oh, and I need plate two for this when I'm die cutting. Yeah, because when I first started die cutting and I put the, the uh, dies through like where this would be straight lined like parallel with the uh, roller here it would just make the worst snapping sound and I'd like be worried that I was like breaking the machine now I know better okay sorry for the uh, wobbling camera all right so that's die cut I think that's all I need to do with the cut and emboss machine so I'm going to put that away now So let me put these pieces together just so I don't lose them. I don't know if, uh, if your crafting is like mine, but it's half the time is spent looking for the stuff that's right in front of you and you buried underneath other stuff. So let me put these together so I can't lose them. Okay, so I need to take my bone folder to burnish it, burnish the fold. And then I'm going to glue on that embossed, please. So I'm going to use glue because I find that um, when you're trying to line this up, it just gives you a little, the, the glue gives you a little bit of extra wiggle time to like get it straight if I need to uh, adjust very, very um, minute amounts. Just kind of turn it or whatever. Turn this over, try to get all over my fingers. Okay. Let me see if that lined up on the corners. I think that worked out really well actually today. Perfect. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay. All right, so there's that. Now we're gonna tackle the top layer. Okay, so with masking, let me bring back the card here. With masking, um, you're working top down. So the image that you want on top has to be first, and, uh, and then you stamp on top of that um, down to the bottom layer. So this, I would have stamped last, okay? These leaves and um, this flower, I would have stamped second and those those ones I stamped last because they're at the bottom. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to stamp my top images or even the other images that I want to stamp on top of. I need to stamp them on my masking paper and then I'm going to fussy cut them out because you can't use the, I mean you can use the dies to cut them out but then you get like a little bit of a white edge on it and when you're stamping on top of it like you can see even though I cut really close to the edge of the original like the masking paper flower you can still see there's a little bit of a white edge because there's a little bit of a lip when you try to stamp on top of it. So if you use the die cuts, you will end up with an even bigger uh, white edging. So that's why you have to fussy cut these. Okay, so let me get my sample lattice. And I'm gonna put this aside first. Okay, and I'll get my stamp out. So this is my first, my topmost flower, okay, and I'm going to get my, this is masking paper, it comes in a package like this, and uh, there's like 12 sheets, so I took out um, one sheet, and uh, you can tell which side, like you can tell this side has like um, the the backing, okay, because there's like a, there's a cut line through it, so you can tell which side is which, because they feel very much the same, but it's basically like um, a big post-it note. 
Okay, so I'm going to stamp on here and I'm going to cut it out so that will um, mask my cut out, my stamped image on my card. Okay, so I'm just going to these magnets down. All right, so I'm going to stamp it in red so I can see the uh, edges easily. Okay, so I'm just going to take Sweet Sorbet and I'm just going to ink it up. I don't know if you can see it off to the side here. Am I getting it off the page? Off of the bit camera. Okay, there we go. I'm going to press it down. It's not, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just need to have the edges clearly visible. Okay, so I think I smudged it a little bit, but that's okay. Um, all right, so let me just clean that off so I don't get ink on me. now gonna fussy cut this so I fussy cut the other pieces already so we don't have to you don't have to watch me fussy cut everything okay so I'm just gonna get as close as I can to the edge of the image and I've been told when I'm when you're fussy cutting, it's good to have the angle of the scissors on a kind of like a 45 degree angle to the paper. And something I don't know about you, but when I fussy cut, I find that I end up like gripping the scissors in a death grip, and my hands are super tired afterwards. And I'm wondering why am I holding them so tight? I have to remind myself while I'm cutting that uh, I can relax a little bit more. Otherwise, it's super tiring. I know some people really enjoy it, and they do it in front of the TV and stuff. But I can't, I can't watch TV and fussy cut because God knows what would happen to my images. I'd probably cut through something by accident, or you wouldn't get a nice clean edge. Yeah, so our Meet the Teacher Night for the Elementary School is tonight, so Karis is going to have to miss her dance classes again this week. She missed it last week because she was sick. And uh, she'll have to miss it again for tonight because I know that the Family Fun Night, it was uh, highly anticipated last June, and they were so disappointed when it was cancelled. So now that it's been rescheduled for September, you know, there is no way that I was going to tell her that she couldn't go because she would have been super disappointed again. And let's hope that the rain holds off because there's rain predicted for today. Although it's very sunny right now, so who knows? Okay. I'm just going to cut off this extra sheet so I don't have to keep pulling that around. It makes it easier. So what kind of Christmas cards are people making for, uh, for their uh, giveaway, like giving away this year to uh, family and friends? Like I've been debating. I haven't designed mine yet. I haven't decided. Um debating on whether or not to do like cute ones with the, the snowman and the penguins or should I actually I'll probably do a mix of both I have one the um oh gosh what's it called it's the one with the wreath over the door um that bundle coming and uh, I'm excited to use that one because it's not quite it's not as cute it's more um, mature theme but not like super serious or anything Oh, Tanya, you're in Illinois. I am in Ottawa, in Canada. 
What are the winters like in Illinois? Are they like, are they as cold as they, like, we get down to like minus 20s here. Oh, something went wrong. Am I still, I don't know if I'm still streaming something. Hmm. Am I still streaming? Let's just see. My computer just glitched and said that there was a memory problem, like on Facebook, and I don't know if I'm streaming or not. My my phone looks like it's still streaming. That's weird. Let me see. Okay, let me just stop. 